Lastly, at the beginning of that sequence, when they get out of the car before they go to Jack Rabbit's palace, there's a humming, buzzing electrical wires. Yeah. And that just got me thinking, like, you know, electrical wires are everywhere, and they're, like, spread out over the landscape, and electricity is, like, sort of, like, the evil technology, and it's sort of spreading its tentacles out over the pristine wilderness. And it gave me this kind of sense of dread, where it's like, it's... They're watching over right now, yeah, everything they it's, do. It's everywhere. Scratch, scratch. Who's that wretch? What? It doesn't make any sense. That's the whole point. Now, did you leave a plate of black coffee out for me? No. In the future, please leave a plate of black coffee out for me. Also, also in, in the, the past. past. Incredibly looping stories uh, of people creating and uncreating themselves and so on. It's tons of fun. <laughs> and how would you like to be remembered? Doesn't matter. What were your dreams as a child? Uh, nightmares. My, my, my. Ah. Want this? Uh, in the bedroom. Thank you, girl. God, this place looks yeah. great. Damn! This sounds like dialogue from our script. This is no dream. This is really happening. This is really happening. happening. Donna, go on. I just, I became too frightened. I lost control of my dream. My dream actually began to... Began to control you. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> no! Because the Emperor of the Sidewalk's Two Kingdom is only mapped out in his head. This is really weird, huh? Reminds me of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's like an Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It is. They got replaced. Like, now they're they're all... Like, I do not trust these people. Like, do I don't think the people coming out of the light are the same people who went into the light. I think they, they're now, like, <laughs> replaced by... And I just like fucked around. They're like replicants. <laughs> replicants, yeah. Sending alien eggs out into space and to Earth. Where they quote, The film has shades of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The ending of Halloween 3 was also a nod to the movie, with Tom Atkins yelling into the phone in a way that was very reminiscent of the Your Next ending of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Think of uh, trying to escape from the Stepford Boys. Well, look, I'll just ask her. Oh, say, Lawgiver, that, now are those evil pods, and are you trying to take over the galaxy? Yes, and yes. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Oh. <laughs> body, gets inside, uses it to move around. These things take over a man's mind? He becomes a, a robot? A machine taking orders? Coincidence. It's not scientific. That's a pretty big fucking coincidence. Cosmic coincidence. Could this be a coincidence? This would be one of the most extraordinary coincidences in the history of mankind if it was a coincidence. Coincidences do happen. I don't believe in coincidences. Synchronicity. 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 I mean, I... What does synchronicity quite on, mean? Exa okay. It's exactly what you said. <laughs> it, well, kind of a coincidence that it's... Uh, well, let's go into the Jungian side of it.
he's more machine now than man, twisted and evil. I am not an animal! So, this is the great Denton. He comes onto the surface of the earth to find people fleeing in terror from a monstrous thing the narrator can plainly see before him. And screamed and he saw his reflection. And in horror stretches out his hand and touches a mirror. We believe nature is solid and time a constant. Ah! Boom, that's the end of the story. Maybe it's only the information that went back in time and got written into kind of how the movie came out, if you will, that is the only thing that really ever traveled through time. Anyone in close proximity has the same dream. You've obviously thought about it uh, a lot, maybe to an unhealthy degree. Um, yeah, look, the question is, when you, ch when you travel back through time, if such a thing is ever possible, and you change the outcome, does that present that you, that you existed in before you went back in time, does it cease to exist? Does the universe bifurcate at that point? Or were you in fact living in some kind of uncollapsed superposition of potential where you simply never did exist? It's not winding down into disorder, it's self-organizing. Hey man, I saw something man, but I didn't see it working here, you know what I mean? You can go crazy thinking about this stuff. There's this, this force, this enemy that's injected into our present, and then it, it just kind of plays out. I don't, I, don't, I don't like jumping back and forth in time or, or seeing that future very much. Christ,